two of the most popular cashback credit cards, known for their enticing 5% rotating categories, are the Chase Freedom Flex and the Discover It cashback card. Both credit cards have no annual fee. And make sure you stay around to the end of the video because one of these credit cards are going to give you 5% cash back on groceries and gas for the first year. When it comes to cash back, both credit cards provide 1% cash back on every purchase that you make, with 5% cash back on quarterly rotating categories. Currently, the Discovery card is offering 5% cash back on purchases made at Amazon.com and Target, while the Chase Freedom Flex is offering 5% cash back at wholesale clubs, select charities, and PayPal purchases. Both credit cards usually have Amazon, Target, and gas stations at some point in the rotation each year, although you do have to activate the quarterly rotating categories of each credit card in order to earn that 5% cash back. These categories are good up to $1,500 in spending each quarter, so you can get up to $75 each quarter from these rotating categories from each credit card. Any amount over $1,500 and the cash back goes down to 1%. Chase also offers additional cash back for certain purchases, 5% back on travel when purchased through Chase Ultimate Rewards, and also 5% cash back on lift rods, also 3% cash back when dining at rest restaurants, which also includes eligible takeout and delivery, and 3% cash back on drugstore purchases. Cash back rewards do not expire with either credit card. Overall, when it comes to cash back, I do have to give the win to the Chase Freedom Flex. Now, when it comes to redeeming rewards, Chase and Discover have different approaches. With Chase, you earn points. Each point is worth one penny. 100 points is equal to a dollar. These points can be redeemed for cash, statement credit, travel, and also gift cards. Gift cards usually also give you more value per point than what you're going to get from just redeeming for cash. With the Discover card, you just simply earn cash back. This cash back can be redeemed for cash, statement credit, and also gift cards, which typically give you more value than what you would get if you just redeem for cash. Chase does have an advantage because they do have more options. And you can also redeem the points that you get from the Chase Friend of Flex using a Chase Sapphire reward card to get even more value for your points. But Discover does stand out by allowing you to automatically redeem your cash back as a statement credit every single month. It's also very easy to redeem cash back when using the Discovery credit card when you make purchases at PayPal and Amazon. Ultimately, the winner depends on what you're looking for. Discover has a more straightforward, simple setup, but Chase has more redemption options, especially when it comes to redeeming points for travel. Both credit cards have excellent apps. Both allow you to view your credit score for free. With Discover, you can also request a credit limit increase in the app. Otherwise, it's pretty typical. You can redeem rewards, pay off your credit card, set up automatic payments, see your transactions. And apps also make it easier to activate the 5% rotating categories. Chase Freedom Flex also has some additional features like trip cancellation insurance, which allows you to be reimbursed up to $1,500 per person and $6,000 per trip for your prepaid, non-refundable passenger fares. If your trip is canceled or cut short by sickness, severe weather, and other covered situations. With the Flex, you also get three months of free delivery from Instacart and DoorDash. There are also more additional benefits with the Flex. Purchase protection, extended warranty protection, cell phone protection, auto rental collision damage waiver, and more. When it comes to additional features, the Chase Freedom Flex comes ahead of the Discovery credit card. Both credit cards have a welcome bonus. With Discovery, you get unlimited cashback match for the first year, meaning you'll get 2% cashback on every purchase that you make with 10% cashback on quarterly rotating categories. The cashback match will be paid out after 12 months. In addition, there's a $100 welcome bonus when you sign up using someone's referral link and make your first purchase within three months. With the Chase Freedom Flex, you get $200 when you spend $500 within the first three months. In addition, Chase is offering 5% cashback at gas stations and grocery stores for the first year, up to $12,000 of spending, which equals $600 of cashback. I'll have my referral link to both credit cards down below. In conclusion, I would recommend either credit card. Both are solid options if you're looking for a cashback credit card with a welcome bonus. Otherwise, in this comparison, the Chase Freedom Flex does come ahead of the Discover It credit card. Due to having more cashback, more redemption options for points, more additional features, and also a better welcome bonus. The Chase Freedom Flex is better for someone who's looking for more cash back and also is interested in traveling. But there is a 3% foreign transaction fee with the Chase Freedom Flex, whereas there is no foreign transaction fee with the Discover It cashback card. Although if you have a low or no credit score, you might not qualify for the Chase Freedom Flex, whereas you may still qualify for the Discover It credit card. I would also like to note that if you are a beginner and this is your first credit card, I would recommend getting the Discover It credit card before you get the Chase Freedom Flex, since there is less incentive to overspend. Use it until you get used to credit cards and develop responsible financial habits, like only buying things you're going to buy anyway, setting up auto pay for the full statement balance, 
and making sure that you pay the card off on time every time. I'd love to hear which credit card you prefer in the comments down below and why it suits your financial goals. If you found this video helpful, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing for more content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.